Hi everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Noodle Journey, where I hope we can all learn about the world of instant noodles together. I am a total noodle novice, and I recently purchased a shitload of instant noodles from the internet, and I decided to document my experiences trying them and let you know which ones are worth a purchase. Now, you'll notice that I'm not holding your average 30 cent bag of supermarket ramen here, but rather Nongshim Shin Ramen colloquially referred to on the internet as Nangshim Red, Shin Red, or some variation thereof. I've always had instant noodles in my pantry, but it wasn't until the COVID pandemic began that I started to explore more high-end offerings. And while most of what I'll be reviewing will be the first time I'm having it, this is not the case here, and I'm starting with this one for a very good reason, because it is probably the standard to which I hold all other spicy Korean instant ramen soups. This is one of the noodles I ordered completely blind one fateful day last year that started me on this path to instant noodle heaven, and I'm happy to show it to you today. Shin Ramyun is a great place to start with Korean ramyun because while it can be jazzed up with many ingredients that aren't in the bag, more on that later, it makes a great meal all on its own without any modifications. Best of all, it's getting much easier to find than it once was in the United States. I can drive to my local Target and grab one of these for 99 cents, which I couldn't do at the start of the pandemic. This used to be exclusive to Asian grocery stores in my region, or I would have to suck it up and order them in bulk online. This makes it by far one of the most convenient lunches I can eat. So let's look at what's inside here. We've got a round package of fried noodles along with two packets, a soup base and a modest pouch of veggies. The veggies are unremarkable, but better than nothing. I actually find the round shape of these noodles to contribute heavily to its convenience factor, because they just fit into microwavable bowls without any fuss, which means I can be a lazy asshole and not have to break out a pot to boil water when I want one of these. But for the sake of this review, and every review going forward, we're going to do this the right way. On the stovetop. Bring 550 milliliters of water to a boil, and dump in the noodles, soup base, and vegetable mix. Stir and cook for four to five minutes. I'll be doing four because I like me noodles firm. And serve. Here we have the finished product in a lovely stoneware bowl that my wife gave me for Christmas last year in what was the first documented step of her accepting this new instant noodle obsession of mine. The soup is comforting and aromatic, smelling vaguely of beef broth and red chili. The vegetable packet is largely green onion and carrot with some chunks of mushroom that could easily be mistaken for dehydrated beef, and I swear if I had not read the ingredients before filming this, I would have said that it actually was beef. How does the broth taste? Well, it is spicy. If you're used to those aforementioned 30 cent packages of noodles from your grocery store, these will surprise you. If we're going on a scale of 1 to 10, which, hell with it, let's do that, I would rate the spiciness of these a solid 6. You will definitely get accustomed to it as you eat, but unless you're a fiend for spicy food, which, full disclosure, I am, this will kick you in the tonsils on the first bite. Not bad enough to burn on the way out, though. As for the flavor behind the spice, you'll taste chili, beef stock, garlic, a decent amount, but I can never have enough garlic, onion, and a general indistinct umami. The ingredients list bok choy, which is one of my favorite vegetables to accompany soup bowls, but I find it difficult to isolate their flavor. I should mention that I am a super taster, which can be a cool trick some days and be a shitty curse on other days. Hopefully with this channel, my powers can be put to good use. The flavor gets a solid 7 from me. The noodles are perfectly firm and al dente. Nongshim noodles are usually regarded among the best of the best in the instant noodle world. And from what I've gathered, I don't disagree. We'll call them an 8 out of 10. What makes this a perfect go-to when you're scrunching up a meal is that it's an excellent blank slate. You can throw almost anything in this and it will be satisfying. I may fill some hacks on this down the road, but you cannot go wrong adding in scallions, kimchi, egg, cooked to your liking, as long as that is somewhere between a soft and medium boil, let's not get crazy, 
and even a slice of spam works very well on this. What? Shut up. I love spam. And there we have it. Would I buy this again? Absolutely. And I regularly do. It's cheap, tasty, and versatile, which is an excellent combination. With that, episode one of Noodle Journey draws to a close. I will be focusing my reviews primarily on the massive Korean ramen sampler pack I ordered from Kokayam. The link will be in the description below if you want to purchase and follow along. But I will be peppering in, no pun intended, many other noodle varieties as we go on. Whatever I can get my hands on easily, really. If you have any questions, requests, or recommendations, please leave some comments, and please like and subscribe if you would like to continue on this noodle journey with me.